hey there welcome to zx crochets so today's tutorial is going to be about this amazing crochet wrap top and i hope you like it i came across it on instagram and then i decided to make a tutorial for it like it was long time ago just i had the time to make a tutorial just recently and here it is and you can you can check out my instagram which is at zx crochets and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing crochet tutorials and you can also check it out it actually got a lot of amazing crochet tutorials so these are the materials you're gonna need and most importantly the medium weight yarn and then the three millimeter hook so first you're gonna make this strap after making the strap increase then stop increasing for three rows and after that you come on decreasing for nine rows and then make that long strap which is going to be tying at the back and as you can see this is how i increase my work then you come this is how the whole thing looks like and you're gonna need two of these so firstly you're going to make this long strap which ties around the neck and if you measure it you're gonna come up with 13 inches so to make this 13 inches you're going to slip not to make a slip knot and after making a slip knot you're going to make a chain of five after that you're going to yarn over and then you're going to go into the third chain from the hook with a double crochet pull up your loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you're going to be having three double crochets at the end of row one go into the last chain with a double crochet and that's how it looks like yarn over pull through two another pull through two so row one is done for row two you're going to make a chain of two one and two turn your work and you're going to place double crochets into those three stitches that you can see one two and three so you're going to repeat row okay let's first finish row two so that's your third double crochet and then you're placing your last double crochet for row two so you're going to repeat row two until you come up with 30 rows so i kept on repeating row two until i came up with 30 rows which measured around 13 inches long so continue repeating this until you have 30 rows or until you have 13 inches long so repeat row two and this is what you should be having it should be 13 and if you want it longer do not hesitate after we are going to begin increasing and as you can see i increased for 12 rows like i counted from that point let's say you can count with me these are 12 rows and i ended by placing a stitch marker there just so that i do not forget so we are going to be increasing so for row one chain one turn your sorry chain two turn your work You're going to place your first double crochet into that first stitch i i count it as row one because that's where we started increasing from now that middle stitch you're going to place three double crochets this is the first double crochet we are going to place now the second double crochet into that same middle stitch and now place your third double crochet into that same middle stitch so this is my third double crochet and then after this you're going to be placing your stitch marker into that third stitch remember we counted the first the second and the third so place your stitch marker into the third stitch which is also the last double crochet that you have placed and after that you're going to place your last double crochet into the last stitch so row one is done now row two of increase row one of increase row two of increase i should say you're going to place chain two turn your work and now you're going to place your first double crochet into that very first stitch and 
after that you're going to take off this stitch marker remember we're on row two after that that place that held your stitch marker we are going to be placing three double crochets again so that's the first double crochet and this is the second double crochet and this is the third double crochet so i hope you have realized that you are placing the stitch marker into the third stitch which is also the last double crochet amongst the three double crochets that you are placing into the stitch so we are going to keep repeating row two or row one because it's all the same until you come up with 12 rows yes continue repeating row two or row one until you come up with 12 rows of increase and also if you have a bigger bust wherever i'm placing three double crochets you can place four double crochets and place your stitch marker onto the fourth double crochet and if you're more bigger than four double crochets can handle you can place five double crochets into that spot where i'm placing three double crochets and i try to show you how to do that but as I was making this top, it's made for a size small and then size medium and then bigger bust. Please, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. so it will continue increasing and that's what we want just continue repeating row two until you come up with 12 rows so i'm going to be showing you how to make it for size bigger remember this is for size small and medium but if you have a bigger size this is what you need to do chain to turn your work and after turning your work you're going to place your double crochets into each and every stitch normally until we reach that stitch with the stitch marker where we shall be increasing with four stitches sorry four double crochets into that same stitch instead of just three so here we are take off your stitch marker and now you're going to place four that's one two double crochets three now double crochets into that same spot remember and now this is the fourth double crochet and nothing's gonna change again place your stitch marker into the fourth and if you're more bigger than four stitches sorry four double crochets can handle please go on and insert five double crochets and nothing changes just the only thing that changes we have with placing three place four so i have around 5.6 inches of increase remember those are my 12 rows and they are measuring up to 5.6 inches and that is okay and if you want to see for a size bigger like a more bigger size please comment in the section in the comment section down below i'll be so glad to make a tutorial about that so now what you are going to do for row 13 14 and 15 just chain two turn your work and now no increase is going to be done remember we've been increasing from row 1 to 12 now row 13 14 and 15 those are three rows we are not going to do any increase or any decrease so just chain two and then turn your work and insert uh, double crochet into each and every stitch all the way through so this is the point where we've been inserting three stitches but now you're going to take it off and you're going to insert only one double crochet one stitch which is one double crochet and then after double crochet all the way down so now this is the 15th row sorry the 13th row and we are going to repeat this for more two rows to come up with three rows of no increase we are finishing off row 13 as i told you nothing changes just go ahead and insert double crochet in each and every stitch so row 13 is done i'm going to make a chain of two and turn my work and then i'm going to be repeating row 13 which will come with no increase no decrease 
and then row 14 which you also have no increase or no decrease so those are three rows of no decrease no increase and i hope you don't get so confused about that so after that after those rows of no increase remember we stopped here increasing then we made three rows of no increase so now we are going to start decreasing our work as you can see i made a decrease over here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing you how to decrease. I made a decrease for nine rows, and yeah, that's what you're gonna need. I decreased for nine rows. Remember, I increased for twelve rows. No increase, no decrease for three rows. Now decrease for nine rows, which is measuring around four inches, four and a half inches, and that's okay. So I'm gonna be decreasing for four and a half inches. So to decrease, you're going to make a chain of two and then after turn your work and after that you're going to be placing your first double crochet into that very first stitch and now we are going to make two double crochet two together and to do that yarn over pull up a loop and go into the next stitch and so those are three loops on your hook now go into the next stitch and also pull up a loop so now you have four loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook and now you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook after that i'm going to place no more should are they no more i don't know so just place double crochets until you have three stitches left no increase no decrease continue placing um, double crochets into each and every stitch until you have three stitches left so now we have three stitches left you're going to yarn over and you're going to double crochet two together and to do that pull up a loop and go into the next stitch and pull up a loop so now four loops on your hook yarn over pull through three loops on your hook and now yarn over pull through two loops on your hook now you're going to double crochet into that very f okay into that very last stitch and now that is done one row of decrease so for another row of decrease yeah sorry chain two turn your work and you're going to place your double crochet into that very first stitch after that um you could continue to double crochet two together at the beginning and at the end and but it's much more better if you scatter them since you have one there the next one should go around here and then the next one this side should go around here instead of putting them at the beginning so i'm going to show you how to do that instead of double crocheting these two next stitches together we are going to scatter them like on the left side of the bracket and then on the right side so to do that you're going to just double crochet a few stitches away from the previous um double crochet two together and you can put it around here which is pretty okay but if you want you can keep placing them into the very first i mean the very first two stitches but it's much better if you scatter them that since you now have this so the next row you should be placing them like at the very beginning which is okay so now this is what we have i'm going to place another double crochet two together here and then after end of this row so this is what you're gonna be doing since i have placed this one like towards the middle that means for next row the double crochet two together is going to be at at the beginning this side then at the end this side so just continue the changing like repeating row one of decrease and row two of decrease until you come up with nine rows of decrease and if there is anything you do not understand do not forget to so like to put it in the comments section down below i'll be so glad to get back to you you can see for row three of decrease i'm just repeating row one so after row one of decrease and row two of decrease continue repeating row one 
and row 2 until you come up with 9 rows of decrease. So as I showed you, I'm using this to show you, these are 9 rows of decrease and you could count remember the three rows we did not decrease and we began decreasing after the three rows so now this is what we have i've decreased until i've come up with nine hitting nine stitches like i've decreased until i was left with nine stitches only to work with after that i'm going to chain to turn my work and I'm going to place double crochets into each and every stitch, which are nine stitches. So nine, those are nine double crochets up to the end of this row. And this is from row 25 to row 55. No decrease, no increase. Just continue placing your double crochets. For my case, when I counted the rows of no increase, no decrease, I came up with 31 rows. 31 rows, which is okay because remember, yeah, that's from 25 to 55. So this is what you are supposed to be having. But if you want to use longer, do not hesitate. And once when you measure, this is around 14 inches but it's okay if you have 14 and a half or 14 because remember i am stretches so this is what i have 14 and a half inches and now the next thing remaining to do is for you to weave in the yarn the ends and then cut off the excess yarn and like that your crochet wrap top will be done so if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel you can also give it a like and also comment just to boost my video so thank you for watching and happy crocheting